Hello everyone. So today we'll check uh, how to find out the normality of a data. That means uh, we know that what is a normal distribution, right? So normal distribution is a Gaussian curve or a bell-shaped curve in which the most of the points are centered around the mean, right? So uh, machine learning mod, uh, machine learning algorithms basically assumes that the data that are that we are feeding into the algorithms are uh, is normally distributed, right? So most of the machine learning algorithms assume that the data is normally distributed. So it is very important to check whether the data is normally distributed or not. Okay, so there are various ways to check the normality of a data. Basically, there are two techniques. We can go to either graphical methods or we can use the statistical methods to check the normality of a data. Okay, so let's uh, understand both of the techniques. So first, we are starting with the graphical methods to check if the data is normally distributed or not. So the first method, first graphical method is the QQ plot. QQ plot is quartile quartile plot. Okay. So when we'll uh, make the QQ plot, we have taken uh, uh, normally distributed uh, data and we have made the QQ plot. So if the data is normally distributed, we should see that all the points are sitting on the straight line. So if all the points are on the straight line, it is concluded that it is a normal distribution. If the points are not on this red straight line, we will uh, conclude that the data is not normally distributed. The second graphical technique is box plot. We know that box plot is a, a plot which gives the five important statistical uh, measures like mean, median, uh, quartile one, quartile two, quartile three, like that. So if the data is normally distributed, we should see the mean and median in the center. Okay, so this is another way to check whether the data is uh, normally distributed or not. Okay, so the third technique, uh, third graphical technique is the use of histogram. So we'll plot the histogram with the help of Seaborn library. Okay, so we'll get a, uh, we'll get a bell-shaped curve. If we'll get the bell-shaped curve, then it is a normal distribution. And the advantage of box plot and histogram is that we can see the outliers also, okay? So in addition to outliers, histogram also helps us to see if the data is uh, data has skewness or not, okay? So distortions in normal distribution can also be seen with the help of histogram, okay? So next we'll see uh, the statistical methods for check the normality. So we uh, in graphical methods, we have seen histogram, we have seen box plot and QQ plot. So now for statistical techniques, we'll uh, see the first technique that is SW test. In SW test, we'll import uh, Shaprio from the sets library. When we'll pass the data to this method, we'll get a value P. So on the basis of this P, we'll decide whether the data is normally distributed or not. If the value of P is less than 0.05, we assume that the distribution of our variable is not normal, okay? If the value is greater than 0 0.05, we assume that the variable is normally distributed. Similarly, we have another test called DK squared test. In that also, we'll pass our data to this test and we'll get the value of P. Same way, if P is less than 0 0.05, we assume that the variable is not normally distributed. If the value of P is greater than 0 0.05, we assume that the distribution of our variable is normal. So like this, we have so many statistical techniques that give us the P value. Okay, so based on the P value, we'll decide that whether the data is normally distributed or not. So there are plenty of methods to check the normality of a variable. We can choose the plots which make it easy to understand by visualization or we can choose a statistical test that gives us the p-value to check the normal. So that's all for today. Bye-bye.